Hello Lara friends, we just came back from the brilliant Laracon EU conference this week, but this doesn't mean we forgot about you. We got some new features for you. First, there is a new method for adding global scopes. So we're here inside my user class and inside the boot method here, I'm applying two global scopes. One for all the verified users and one for active users. And now we have a new method which we can utilize, which is add global scopes here. And what this receives is an array. So let's just provide our two classes here as an array, our verified scope class and the active scope here. Let's reformat this. And yeah, now there is a more convenient way if you want to add more global scopes than just one and using one method. Thank you, Elisier. Next, an update for linking your storage folder. We're here in the terminal of my level application and what we can do in level is using PHP Addison storage link to create a symlink for our storage directory. So let's take a look at our public folder by ls-l public. And you can see here at the bottom, we have our storage symlink, which is cool. But sometimes you want to get rid of this, you don't need this anymore. And now you can also do this with an artisan command called storage unlink. And of course, you guessed it, it just deletes our sim link. Let's check again here on the public and you can see now this is gone. Thank you, Mikael. And last, we have a new insert method with the wonderful name insert or ignore using. Love it already. We're here inside my insert users command, which I have in level, signatures insert users, and we're just inserting a couple users into the database, just Tim and Chess from the level team. We're using the insert method, and if we run this command, here you can see this should just work. Yes, it does. And inside our database, I can check this here in PHPStorm as well. You can see we have our two users, Tim and Chess. So this is working as expected, but what if we're going to run this now again? Of course, this is going to fail because our email should be unique. And let's see it here. Yeah, we don't want a duplicated user, so Tim is already failing here. Okay, so what happens now if we maybe want to add other entries here, or we still have other entries that we want to get into the database? Like, for example, let's put in here also Joe. Name is Joe, email is Joe at Laravel. Yes, here we go. So we want Joe to be in the database as well. But of course, if we run this command again, it will already fail for Tim. So what we can do here is use a different method than insert, it's insert or ignore. And this was already working um, in Laravel for quite some time. So now this command is not failing. And if we check the database, you can see we still don't have duplicates, but we also have now Cho in the database. Welcome Cho. Okay, so this is nice and working as expected. And next to the insert or ignore, there's another method which we already had before, which is, let's use this now on a different table, which is insert using. So what this does, it inserts users to this new backup user table, which I had from another um, table. But first we want to define, we only want to use the email field. And yeah, the other database where we want to get this from is from the table users. And here we also specify that we only want to get the email field, which is, yeah, by the way, it's email. Let's also fix this, at, fix this at the beginning. And yeah, that's all. We just want to use all those users in this other table. This is working. Let's check this table. Yes, now we also have all three users in this table as well. But we have the same issue if we run this again, this is failing again for the same issue because of our duplicate violation here. So this means what we can do, and this is finally what's new here, we can now use insert or ignore using. This new method which combines the both of them and now we can run this command as much as we want to. And now this is not failing, but we also don't have any duplicates. Thank you, Trevor. Let me know which new feature you like the most in the comments and see you the next time. Bye.